tile. Um, if Rogue Penguin can maintain his confidence and composure and not allow himself to get hit by these stray hits that uh, Day is so good at connecting with, um, he'll find a lot of success because he understands how to put on damage. And he also understands that he needs to take these stocks quickly. And he's going to do everything he can in his power to make that happen. He doesn't want to give him Anubis. Yeah. Also, uh, Rogue Penguin has found oh. that the traction that Lucario has um, allows him to get grabs really easily, and that uh, kind of serves as an antithesis to what Rogue Penguin's all about as a player. Yep. And it seems that Rogue is trying his hardest to oh, get. Oh, that's a stock. A kill. Starting and off swinging from the gates, Rogue Penguin looking pretty dominant here. We saw uh, the use of uh, Pratt Fall to get a jab lock. And that allowed him to convert all the way into taking the stock. I mean, that ja that, that, that nail lock was pretty good looking at first. <laughs> I was just like, oh, there it goes. I was expecting another follow up, too. But hey. Now, Rogue, near rage percents. Goes to attack on damage to Dave. Trying to get killed as well. Great use of, uh, yet again, down air to first hit. Or first hit down air to the command grab, a kill uh, option for Lucario. Or Penguin's really just all over day right now, um, and that's oh. it. Almost. Oh, not even. Rogue's looking really strong with, here, but with max rage that would have been it. Um, if he is not able to take the stock uh, soon, and uh, Day is able to secure it first, um, it could be really uh, scary. Not quite yet. That recovery was looking pretty scary for me. <laughs> That's it. Yep. Yeah. So a huge hitbox that Oris will become, and the active hitbox at that. Uh, it really makes for great option coverage at the ledge. Off of one throw, <laughs> he does 13% damage. That baffles me. That's great cool. use of dash attacks, uh, lasting hitbox to uh, two frame day. Really tense situation here, though. Rogue's really looking for the stock. Day with the Anubis can easily have the advantage to turn the game around. And right. that's Rogue's oh, at kill percent. Straight up. And he gets the stock. He's uh, very aware of what he wants. He wants to pressure you up close and get these roll reads and punish you with his up smash because that's his most reliable. Player sitting down. And I believe this is going to be the first matchup starting at FD. Um, of course, you said this was one of Rogue's favorites, correct? Yep. Definitely can't wait to see how he does in this matchup versus Day. I would imagine he does fairly well because he is number one. So yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, it's gotta feel pretty great to have that like that tag, that money, money girl. I am number name, one. Like, I am the best. I am the best. <laughs> I am untouchable. I mean, you, far. <laughs> you can't feel like zero at, at a big tournament. Why not feel like zero at home, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Smack. Gets a new jab. Beautiful tech there right there. Not getting stuck in a jab lock situation. And a forward smash punish because of whiff grabs. Recovery. Oh my gosh. Trying to call it out with up smash. Just a, off on the spacing there. What's day? Oh, that would have been dead. <laughs> Bro, slowly finding his way in the, in the neutral here. Calling out all the landings. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> What kind of forehead do you have underneath that hat? How do you scoop someone up that hard? Why are you cheating, man? Can somebody remove the metal plates from underneath that hat, man? Bruh. The grimiest of Titanium plate. I'm telling you, man. The grimiest of characters, man. He's in there like, yeah, you thought I was just a plumber. <laughs> you know what happened with all the games that I made? I had enough money to get titanium plating in my forehead. Exactly, bro. This bionic body here is going to put in work. <laughs> Secretly part cyborg because he has fire powers. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. <laughs> All right, makes it off the, state, the corner, but sitting at 108, he's still on his first stock here. Day struggling to find the ground and taking a lot of damage doing so. I don't even know what that oh. was. All right, using the force bomb, giving him a little space, a little breathing room here, but Rogue, oh. man, just playing very, very... Throwing out an up smash for every single... Aggressive here. And just relentless, needless to say. That was a beautiful, perfect shield, by the way. It's not... No, it's with a projectile. Wow. Oh! Wow. He is I thought the force smash was going to come out at the same time. We see DBZ. Yeah, we see. Nope. He's showing extreme like familiarity with the, uh, the matchup here. 
Oh wow. <laughs> All right. Would be coming in with an air. Are we gonna see up smash? Nope. Just another air. And very safe choices here from Rogue. Seems like he's just aiming for the two stop. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. No, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, that happens. There you go. Finally get some percent on this second stop here. And this is still very doable for Day, man. He has that rage. Optimally, like, he's, he's approaching match rage percentage, but no. Oh. Down smash. Not going to kill. Great DI there. Gets him with a oh. hitbox at that LB. Punish. But the cooldown. The cooldown. That's what happens when you put a second direction in. The cooldown. If you only have one direction when using his up B, you have no lag. But if you put a second direction, that's double. That's the lag, you know? Listen, the, the moment you, you committed to having one direction, man, I don't even like their CDs, dog. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. FD again, because why not? I'm going to run it back here. I don't know necessarily what they can change. I would say... Like, uh, once again, it's just the spacing. The ability to, like, avoid any type of grab or any type of soft hit that might lead into a grab. Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. This the back air, back air, back air. That ain't Jilly Puff. <laughs> it's even better, man. It's Smash 4 Mario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Great spacing there. Started off very well here, man, but uh, Rogue finding his way in here. Get these little these little combos to kind of come through for him. Oh, yeah. Getting these grabs in as well. Oh, down tilt? Wow, did you see that, man? That, just, that little scoop for utilizing that walk to just keep his options available. Very slick there from Rogue. Yeah, not enough players utilize the walk. Because walking allows you to do tilts immediately. It's that gimme gimme, man. It's that gimme gimme generation. We yeah. want it, we want it now. Like <laughs> Yeah. It's like, I want the sock. And they get, they get hit like that. <laughs> or you can just say, well, forget it. I know I'm going to be aggressive, but all I have to do is wait till I get 100. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, stage. Back here. Capitalize? No. The no, tech, tech. no tech, but he still has the room to recover. Oh, but, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Swiper, no swiping. Jesus. Wow. Just eliminating Sly Cooper there. Not today. <laughs> Oh, oh wow, my the bait, the bait. You fell for it, man. There are no fish out here on the line, man. What are you doing? All right, finds his way back to the ground, but already taken 99%. Just hitting something from my back here. And the forward smash. Not dead yet. Okay, now he's dead. <laughs> oh. oh. That has to be like one of his more hated ma matchups. Like that, Diddy Kong. Mario, Diddy Kong, and also um, Bayonetta, man. I feel like when it comes to those matchups, I feel like Lucario struggles. And also uh, Captain Falcon, of course. We saw that yeah. with Sue versus Cashmere at uh, FPS, too.